Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for your presence. I would like to thank the organization and the organizers. Thank you very much. Uh, please, uh, if you have any question, do not hesitate to interrupt. It's going to be easier. So I'm going to speak. If you have any question, just do it. OK, so multidisciplinary work in healthcare. Um, I'm going to begin with a small table of content. Uh, so we have 50 minutes, so uh, we have time. First of all, uh, I'm going to give you the definition of teamwork, multidisciplinary or multidisciplinarity. The second thing is the C five C formula for teamwork. We're going to speak about it. And then some examples, teamwork in sports, teamwork in general, and then teamwork in healthcare. I'm going to give some examples. And then conclusion and take home message. So let's begin. So if we want to have a definition about teamwork, if we go in the Merriam-Webster's, one of the best dictionaries uh, known in the world, so work done by several associates with each doing a part, but all subordinating personal prominence to the efficiency of the whole. Please, I'm going to ask you after that to give me the definition again. So be really very attentive and, <laughs> and so remember it. So Webster's definition. Another definition, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> so it's an international encyclopedia of the social and behavioral science. So that definition is the ability of team members to work together, communicate effectively, anticipate and meet each other's demands and inspire confidence resulting in a coordinated collective action. Don't forget huh? the quiz at the end. So do you want me to repeat it again? So ability of team members to work together, communicate effectively, anticipate and meet each other's demands and inspire confidence resulting in a co coordinated collective action. Wow. Hi, my, my ladies. Please, there is a quiz at the end. You have to repeat exactly what are the definitions of a teamwork. So, another definition. Ah, this one is mine. Okay, so Harfush def definition, it's going to stay in five words. Okay, so competency, communication, complementarity, collaboration, and cohesion. All these to arrive to a common goal. Okay, so now you have the choice. You have three definitions. At the end, you have to at least be able to tell me one of the three. So let's go in another one. So this one is going to hold in a line. Different members devoted for a common mission. Okay, so exactly the team are different members together, but they need to be devoted to a common mission. So this is how I see the teamwork. If I, I'm going to go like a definition to explain what are the five C's formula. As I said, competency is the first one. So if you want to be in a team, or if you want to build a team, you need to have a competence. Okay? So knowledge is very important. Okay? And each person's knowledge needs to come in this team to give a plus. Okay, so first one is the competency. The second one is communication. Exactly, being in a team, we need to communicate together so we can really take the maximum of each other's, as we said, for the common goal. There is a small example that I really like here. If you see here, this, this is 100 euro. And this is two times 50 euros. Is there a difference in the value of these two photos? This one gives us 100, and this one gives us 102. So if I have this two, these two 50 euros, and somebody has this 100 euros, and we do an exchange, so I will give you two, two 50s, and you're going to give me the 100. Is there going to be any difference? I'm asking a question. Is it going to be the same if I give you two times 50 euros, and you give me 100 euros, we exchange. Is anybody won or anybody lose something? No. You are okay with me? It's the same thing. So 
no winner, no loser, we just exchanged papers. But if we go in the communication in mind, if you have a, an idea in your head, and I have another idea in my head, if I come and give you my idea, and you will give me your ID, you can be sure that both of us are winners, because I came with one ID, I will go back with two IDs. Okay? And you, for you, it's the same thing. You, you have your ID and you, you went out with my ID too. So this is very important in communication. So speak together to exchange ideas, and this is something very important in the teamwork. So the third time, the third point is complementarity. So as you see, com, 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 all the three comments are beginning with C-O-M. I'm helping you to remember at the end because uh, when I'm going to ask you for the quiz for one of the definitions, it's going to be easier for you. So what is complementarity? This puzzle is really in one photo you can explain, you can understand it. Each part of the team, each member of the team have a competency. So if we put them together, we are going to be complementary, compl we have, we're going to have the, this complementarity so we can really be together having more ideas and developing them. One more point, it is the collaboration. Collaboration is not communication. So collaboration is really when we go acting together, okay? And this is something very important too in the group, because when we go on collaborating together, we are going to enhance all this team, and this is how it's going to be. So after collaborating together, for sure, we need to have this cohesion, okay? We are competent, each one in his domain. We are communicating so each, each other person is understanding what's happening in the mind of the other. We are complementary because each person has a competency. And we are collaborating to have it all together. So exactly, the cohesion is the, the binding that is going to have the team all together. So exactly as I told you, these are the five C's. This is how I see the teamwork. Competency, communication, complementarity, collaboration, and cohesion. So once we spoke about that, as I said, all these to arrive to a common goal. So if I'm speaking about a team, a team that means I said a team, I didn't say teams. So it is like one brain, one body, but with Shiva hands. Okay, it's very important. At that time, we can be able to be like this person, accomplishing a lot of purposes. Okay, for, as I said, for a common goal. You have to know that in general, when we, ha when we are in a team and a teamwork, sometimes from time to time, and it's, it's usual, okay, it's not so rare, we're going to have some fightings inside the team. And if these things are going to happen, there is one very important thing. It is the leadership. So at that time, the leader needs to come to calm everybody, and to try to see what is the best for the team, okay? So it's necessary sometimes to really stop some people in the team just to let all the team go together again. So the leadership can really act at that time if there is any problems or this, this, uh, this equilibrium in the team, okay? Otherwise, the team needs to be completely cohesive to arrive to all the common goals that they are going to do. So, now, sports. This is a team. A very nice team. And if you come back, can anybody uh, remind me what are the five C's? The first one? Anybody? Sorry? Competencies. Do you see here competencies? Yes, exactly. So, goalkeeper. This is a competency. If you go to an attacking, <laughs> he's not going to do it, okay? So, competencies, each one has his own competencies. Perfect. The second one. Communication, exactly. Who is going to assure the communication? Captain. And communication, exactly, it's between all the members of the team. Good, so, I'm going to go one further. The strength of the team. So, this is our team. As you said, first of all, 
if we have this communication and this cohesion, we are going to be the winner. Were we the winner of this Eurofoot this year? Mm, unfortunately not. I'm not a coach of football, okay? But we're going to do it together. You're going to see it's going to be a nice uh, game. First of all, what do you think about the five C's in our team this year? Competency. Were they competent? Yes, they were very competent. And it's an honor to be Belgian when we see this team, but unfortunately they didn't do it. Why? Were they communication? The good communication was more between them. If you look, <laughs> I just cancelled half of it. There was no good communication. For example, when this very nice player giving the pass for this one, it was always a goal, almost, okay? But it was not the same thing with the others. If we go to complementarity, were they complementary? Uh, was it a really complementarity in the team? As you see, no. I'm going to say why. These were very good guys. These were very good guys. This was a very good guy, but unfortunately, each time that it, was, it, it arrived to the defense, we didn't do it. Okay, we were not able to make it. So the complementarity was not 100% too. Okay, so we lost half of it. And this was unfortunately a problem for us. Even if we have a very, very, very good goalkeeper, as, as you see, I'm not giving names, okay? I'm not going to do it. Okay, but unfortunately, yes, we, were, we had a small problem somewhere, weakness, and this weakness cost us the, the championship. And uh, collaboration. It was a very nice collaboration between them. They were always for the other, but unfortunately, a part of the team cannot do it. This is why the cohesion was not, okay? Because the team was not able, one, once they wanted to go, go with the passes till the end, somewhere it was not happening, okay? We did one or two matches very good, but the others were not, okay? So, the competency was it, it was here. The communication, it was not so good. Complementarity, neither. Collaboration was nice, but the cohesion was not in the group. You know why it was not in the group, the cohesion? For only one reason, all the players didn't always play together. And this is what all the experts said. It, there was not a cohesion in the group because they didn't understand on each, for each other's. And this was our biggest weak, weakness in this championship. Otherwise, really, we, we were able to, to go really far, especially that when we know that the guys that won this match won the championship, <coughs> so we were not so far, okay? But yes, this one is more exercising together and together. But unfortunately, it was not the case. So here, as you see here, I put one number, one number, one, one, one goals. I think that you know about whom I'm going to speak. The best ever player marking goals with, hi with his team, it is Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm citing him because you're going to see him. I just want to insist, it's going to be like a 10 seconds video, okay? But just look at this action. This player, okay, it's, it's on purpose, it's flu, so you cannot know exactly the, the, the players. But look at this player. He's going to give the ball to the center so they can mark the goal. It's not going to happen but he is going to be here for the next one again. So he was here to continue with his competence to give the ball. So I don't know, it's gonna go, here we go, three, two, one. Yes, look, one, no, again, two on the head of the guy, and that's it, it's a goal, okay? So it can be, it can seem so easy, it's not easy at all, okay? So this is a lot of training and training and training and training. And that's very important, but that's the team, okay? So this is something that is very important to know. This is how it must be, okay? So no panic, concentration always, communication always, and looking everywhere just to put the goal as we wanted to do it. And this is the goal. And uh, we, we are thinking about goals, yeah? not only in football. The goal, so the, the mission is goal. Voila, that's it. Okay, thank you very much. So he won. And it was in the 96 minutes, and the match was supposed to be 95 minutes because the, 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 uh, the referee gave only five minutes. So the, the Irish were really very, very, very upset about that. Okay, so that I give it in sports. So in sports, what are the consequences if we do not have a good team? Sorry? Sorry, I didn't hear. Yeah, exactly. So 
If we are a good team, we're going to win. If we are a bad team, we're going to lose. So we're going to lose. So that's the consequences. Yes, perhaps for uh, money, money wise, it's another thing. Okay, but you're completely right. We're going to lose. So good team win, have the chance to win, and bad team is going to lose. If we go as another example of really team, this is a chain. As you see, all the links of the chain. If I tell you that this one is going to support five tons, and this one five tons, and this one five tons, is the chain going to support five tons? Unfortunately not. Why? Because we have a weak link in the team. Okay? And the consequences is that it's going to break. So the strength of a chain is limited to that the weakest link in this chain. So even if these are five tons, <laughs> this one is five kilograms. Okay, so unfortunately, we cannot go far with this team. Okay, so please, when you are in a team, give the maximum to the team, and you have to wait that the others can give the maximum to the team. This is a real teamwork. Otherwise, it's a bunch of people together, and that is not a team. So this is something very important to, 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 to keep in mind. Okay, so let's go to the medical field, because here we are in the med cup. Okay, I don't know who, who is winning today We're between all of uh, the competents, but so here I'm going to give you two examples. The first one is going to be orthopedic and the other one is going to be more in uh, vascular. Please remember this sentence. This is the most important sentence in your life if you are in a medical team or in another team. All members of the team must be considered as VIP. The biggest error, when there is a big physician or physical therapist or a nurse or whatever and thinks that he is the center of the world. This is the biggest error. Please keep that in mind. Even if he is the best, if the guys who are with him are not the best, he will never have the best result. And these are examples that in all the hospitals you can listen, hear about them, and that is very important. So please, Every, every member in the team need to be considered as a very important person. Okay? This is the clue. This is very important. I insist on that. So, what are the consequences here, my lady? Because in football, we said that it will be something like winning or losing. And what are the consequences in medical field, please? Can anybody, can anybody tell me? Good team or bad team? It's going to be healthy if everybody is working good. Or, unfortunately, with sick allies if the, we didn't have the good job. More than that, it can be a question to, be, to stay alive or to perish. And do not underestimate that. Really, do not underestimate that. It can arrive every day. Thanks God, it's not arriving every day. But it's very important that we keep that in mind, okay? So, when we are in the medical field, a small problem is going to be straight away on the health. If you are a mechanic, okay, you go with your very good car and you come to me, I am the mechanic. And you tell me there is a small something in, in, the, in the engine. I open and I push too much and I break the engine. You're going to tell me, hey, you broke. I said, I don't want to hear about you. I'm going to repair everything and I'm going to pay but please don't say any more. Can I say that in the medical? I break your arm, oh, sorry, don't say anything. I'm gonna, how can I, am I going? No. So please, here it's very important to, to, to see this difference. Teamwork is always very important, but teamwork in the medical field is really the most important. This cohesion, this collaboration, this communication, all these five C's that I said before are very important to be always, always, always respected. Okay, so let's go for a straight example. Surgical ward, so case study here, I'm going to speak about total knee replacement. Okay, oh, it was a bit too fast. Let's do it together. Who can tell me who is the team for a total knee replacement? There are a lot of, pe person, of people and a lot of things, but let's do it, try. Just give me the, the teams, the, 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 the members of the team, please. Anesthesia is good, so a physician. Exactly, surgeon. Nurse. Come on, you can help. 
Physical therapist? In French? C'est pas grave. Ergotherapeut, ok. Functional therapist, yes, exactement. And others? Okay, on all the cases. Thank you very much. It was very nice. Exactly, if we're going to just list them, we're going to take two hours. But I'm going to give you some other hints in the way of thinking, okay? Because what you, what you said was perfect. You said all the persons that are working. Look what I'm going to begin with. The surgical ward. Oh, is that a team? Or a member of the team? I'm going to explain why. Because in the surgical ward, you have all the materials. So, the person that cleaned the surgical ward is a part of the team. Because this is how we're going to have an infection. The best surgeon in the world, the best physical therapist, the best nurse, whatever. You have, you take one material that is not disinfected, is not clean, and your patient is completely knocked out. Okay? So the surgical ward, when I say, I'm not speaking about only the walls, I'm speaking about all the people that work together inside. So the cleaning person, okay, the, the, all they, the, the, they do the, the, the cleaning completely with all the, how we say, the, um, the disinfections, okay, and all these things are a part of the team, and do not forget them. So this is where the team can begin. The second, yes, is the material. So here we spoke about the total knee replacement. If the material is not from a good quality, it's going to break. <laughs> best surgeon, best physical therapist, best nurse, best whatever. Nothing, guys. Okay? So, even the material that we are going to use needs to be the top of the top. For sure, surgeon. And here it is. Exactly. You said different surgeon. Exactly. So, you can one, two, three, or ten. But all the physicians, exactly, they need to be competent so they can do the good job. Not only them, exactly, so you can speak about the nurses. If the nurse doesn't do the good job, an infection can occur too. And instead of healing in 10, 15 days, we're going to go for one, two, three months, and sometimes it's not going to heal, especially when the problem comes from the surgical ward. Okay? For sure, when you want to clean everything, everybody needs to clean up very good. You have to see when the surgeon go, they scrub for a lot of time just to be sure that nowhere there is a germ that can, that can attack the patient. Okay, so the nurse too, and for sure the physical therapist, because if the physical therapist doesn't do his work, if he goes very fast, he's going to break something, and if he's all very slow, he's going to create ankylosis in the knee, and the patient is not going to be able to recuperate everything. So, as I said, there is not anybody that is more important than the other. Please, that's very important. Everybody is important, especially that everybody is going to put his knowledge or her knowledge for the end goal. The end goal is that the patient can have the good health after the operation. Any question till now? It was so clear, hmm? so that's why. <laughs> so, now I'm going to stop a bit, you know, I didn't have time to eat. If I show you this pizza, sorry, what do you think that that's it? Come on, give me your opinions. Please. Okay, somebody else, something else? It's not a pizza? <laughs> so, no. I'm not hungry, and when you see what's that, you're not going to be hungry at night either. But this is Quattro Formaggi pizza, because you see that you have different color of cheese, and you have the ham. Or it can be uh, the, uh, the, the other pizza, the, the first one, the, the, the most basic, uh, Margarita. You know why, why we call it Margarita? Because it was the, the queen, Margarita. So because she just wanted ham, cheese, and a small uh, of persil uh, or, or mot, I don't remember, so just that. This is why we call it margarita from that time. So, let's see what's this margarita. It's the case study number two in the medical field. Unfortunately, it's a venous ulcer. <laughs> okay, wow. Yeah, it's like a cheese, but it's not a cheese. Okay, so this case is very important because 
with this case, you're going to see the importance of really teamwork and not a bunch of people working together. This lady has his, her venous ulcer, just imagine, from 23 months, all, almost two years, when she arrived at our hospital. So, no healing, why? Well, because the ulcer was treated as a simple wound. So, not gonna go in details, but just for you, because uh, it's important to know, I don't know, perhaps some people know, some people doesn't. The venous ulcer, it's a circulatory problem coming from the venous system. The venous system is not capable to just take off all the waste. So what's going to happen? The waste is going to stay and the oxygenation is going to be very bad. So the skin is going to be really very fragile. fragile. And any just small scratch of the skin, and that's it. The wound is going to be opened and it's not going to be closed before that we treat the real problem. So it's not a wound, simple wound. Unfortunately, it was treated as a simple wound. And nobody was exchanging data, okay? So the communication was not done neither. So first of all, competence. Unfortunately, it was the problem, the error of the physician, the nurse, the physical therapist, all of them, okay? So the second one, nobody was exchanging data with the other uh, health pro members. I'm saying health pro members on purpose. They were not a team. Okay, the patient was at, ho I was at home, and every day somebody comes to her, but no communication. And everybody thinks he is doing a good job by him or herself. And if there is a problem, it is not his mistake or her mistake. This is a catastrophe. When there is a problem, more important than searching who did the problem, try to find a solution for the problem. And then we can do the account, accountability later. Okay, but no, no, I'm doing what, what the, the, the physician told me and I'm doing what I know to do. No, it cannot work this way because you destroyed the complementarity, you destroyed the collaboration, and you destroyed the cohesion too. So, no complementarity, no collaboration, no cohesion, no communication, and no competence. So guys, this is why this lady was for 23 months, almost two years, ill. And when you speak, so the physician used to come for five minutes each week. Ah, the cream is not efficient, so I asked the nurse to change the cream. He didn't even do more exams. So that's a very big mistake. So the nurse, seven, seven minutes a day. I'm using the new cream that the doctor prescribed for you. Ah, that's perfect. And then the physical therapist, 20 minutes, three times a week. No decongestive therapy because the, the leg is really swollen. And ah, yes, but I walk with the patient and pff, all these things are really unfortunately showing that it was not at all a teamwork. It's only a group of healthcare workers. Okay. And that's a very, very big problem. Okay. We cannot treat patients like that. Okay. We have to be humble. If there is a problem, we need to come back together. Hey, I'm not arriving to what I was supposed to. So, again, we're going to come back to the communication. What do you think? Can, can it be this or this or that? No for these reasons or yes for these reasons. This is a very important enrichment when we go back and ask the questions again. Please do not keep all yourself I'm behind the curtain and I'm doing what I'm doing. No, we have patients to take care of and we need to do it this way, okay? If it's not going the way that it was supposed to be, we need to call for a meeting, okay? And that's very important. So please keep that in mind too. So what happened? First thing to do when this patient came to us, the first thing was do a come meeting so every expert in the domain can give his opinion. Okay, and coming back to the five C's again. Okay, so first of all, identifying the pathology. So the physician is going to say, okay, I think that it can be this, this, and that. We're going to do these exams, and we're going to go out with outcomes, and we're going to see what to do. Second thing, launching the protocol. Once we have the exams, here, for example, uh, Echo Doppler, 
and then taking a, a sample to see what are the germs that are inside and all these things. And then after that, we're going to launch a protocol. Okay. After that, we need to personalize the treatment. That's one of the most important things, please. It's not because there is a protocol, and this is why I put it straight behind the protocol. It's not because there is a protocol, I'm going to go always by the book, and like that. No, we are human beings, and we have brains. Okay? It's not dogma, it's science. So each time you have to go further and further to see why it's not working or what can we do, especially for this patient and not the other one. So this is very important. This is why the anamnesis is very important. The physician's anamnesis is important. The nurse's anamnesis is very important. The physical therapist's anamnesis is very important. Okay, because after that, all together, I'm going to put it together for the good of the goal, the common goal is the patient. And what is really important too is a continuous update about the state of the patient and her ulcer in this case. So, teamwork with the five C's work like that. Okay, and then we hope that we're going to have a better result. So, I just gave you a small thing here. So, this one, D0, when the patient arrived to the hospital. So, don't forget, it was for 23 months in that state. Wider and wider, huh? This is after 23 months. So when we launched the protocol and do, did the treatment, just seven days later, we begin seeing the decrease in the volume. And you have to know something very important. When we have these types of problems, ulcer, venous ulcer, or any wound in the leg, if the leg is swollen, there is a continuous tension on the borders of the, 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 the ulcer that you see going out. So you cannot heal if you have edema, okay? So where there is edema, there is no way of healing. So this is why we need competent person to say, okay, even if you are putting the good product and you, there is no infection anymore, if there is edema, no way, okay? And when there is, you see this white thing is what we call the fibrin, okay? So it is produced by our body to try to, 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 to hide this small problem, but this fibrin can completely stop the cicatrization of the skin. So it needs to be taken off. Okay, so this is why the competence of the nurse needs to know that, the physician, the physical therapist, everybody. So again, a team is a group of competent person, each one in his domain. So after that, 14 days, two weeks after, look what stayed. And then more than a month here, look what stayed. So. After 23 months, it's this patient stayed with us one month and a half, and this was the result. So I'm going to just show you a small thing here, just, it's like a, a joke. Some people, when I used to show these images, say it's not the same patient. So this is why I said, are you sure? Look at the, <laughs> at the nail, <laughs> always the same. <laughs> <huh? laughs> okay, it's a joke. But what is really important is that the width of the ulcer in 35 days only, the width of the leg, so now we can really speak about healing. And then what is really important in what I'm showing here, here the suffering of the skin, this color of the skin, reddish, look here, it's not here anymore. And if you look at the, the heel, okay, it's not here anymore. So all these points are showing that the patient is going better, in order we can see it. Okay. So that is a teamwork, okay? It was not my job, even if I went with the leg from here to there. But if the nurse didn't do his, her job, the physician didn't do his job, everybody, even the patient, we were not able to arrive at these results. So as a conclusion, treatment must be personalized, okay? No dogma in science, please keep that in mind. The second thing is the patient is not a number. I'm going to the room 22. And what's the, I don't know his name, okay, or her name. And what's it, I don't know. So it's very important. The patient is not a number, but a member, okay? Very important. I like this one. Look, nous allons voter à main levée pour ou contre la prolongation des traitements. So we are going to vote who is okay to continue the treatment. What I really like in that, look, the physician, the big boss, 
turning his back to the patient, not even looking at him. It's his health. It's his life. And he's not even looking at him. And then the patient, je peux participer? May I participate, please, to this vote? You are voting for me, for my life, for my health. And that is a very big problem. Okay? Unfortunately, from time to time, we are still seeing that. But this is my seventh years that I'm fighting that, please. Sorry, can, can you just please uh, speak louder? Ah, this is, this is a very nice question. First of all, year, the, sorry, the, the, the age must not count in that way. Because you have people of 80 years old, of 90 years old, of 95 years old, they have completely all their brain and mind and they are really with you. And other people at 70 years old, they do not know what to decide. So this is going to be an ethical question, okay? But thank you for the question. But yes, I, I insist on the 80. Do not take 80 as, as a number, okay? Because sometimes I know people that have 90 or 95 years old and they come to my cabinet by car. And other at 65 years old, they don't even know where they are, okay? But yes, you're right. If there is a problem in, in the judgment of the patient, this is going to be another uh, part of the problem. Okay? But it's not going to be the teamwork at that time. It's going to be the biggest teamwork, family and ethics, and to see all these stuff together. Did I answer your question? Yeah. Okay, so please, we must avoid that. Okay, turning the back for the patient when to decide. For this reason, uh, this reason, sorry, this is what we just saw. So the team, the medical team is here, and the patient is outside. For you, is that a good scheme or a very bad one? Very bad one, exactly. Very bad one. Okay, so what do you think if we do it this way? Ah, the patient in the center. So everybody is taking care of the patient. What do you think about this one? Good. Everybody is good with that? I'm not good with that at all. No. This is why I have <laughs> my diagram and what is my diagram is the patient is a part of the team. The patient must not be a spectator. He is not here, come on, treat me. No. No. You have your rights, but you have your obligations too. As any part of the team. And that's very important. So the patient is not a spectator and he is not a number. Neither putting him outside nor putting him and casually chouchouter, no. We are here for the patient, but the patient is here for himself too. So this is, for me, the diagram that we need to keep in mind. And when you say that for the patient, that you are here, but you are a part of the team, that's very important. Okay? He needs to be responsible. And not, I'm coming, like I'm going to the hairdresser, do my hair. No. No. We are here for you, but you are here too for yourself. Okay? So you are a part of the team. If the team as we were saying, competent communication, all these things, the patient, these rules apply to the patient too. And I can assure you, when the patient is so responsible, we, we responsibilize the patient, you're going to feel that he is really another person. He is a guy or a, or a girl, huh? but that is really, I do it with my patients. I remember one day, one of my patients came to me with a big arm, breast cancer, unfortunately. So she arrived and she said to me, oh yes, I did one, two, three, four, five, seven, and I don't have results. So I arrived, I did the exam, and once I did the assessment, I saw that we can have a good result for her hand. I told her, this is what I always say, this is my secret when I speak with my patients. Be careful, I'm giving you one of my secrets. Okay, so keep it in mind. I said, okay, I see that we can have a very nice result, but there is one condition. What is this condition? I do not work by myself, only. But there is another person that needs to work with me so you have to accept that. And I'm going to introduce you to this, patient, to this person. So she was like, aren't you going to treat me? I said, yes, 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 I'm going to treat you. But I will not be alone. There is somebody else that is going to help me in this treatment. So she was like, uh, okay. I said, do you accept this condition? She said, yes. So I went towards her, really like that. And I said, enchanté, it's you. 
So when you see the patients, when you do that, really, you see that, oh my God, yes, it's you. You are going to be a part of this team, and I'm not going to be alone with the other members of the team. You are going to be one of our team. So when we win, we win together, and when we lose, we lose together. Okay, so that's very important. You need to responsabilize your patients. That's very, very important. And you have your responsibility, but they have to know that they are not coming to the hairdresser. And that's very important. So this diagram for me is very important. The patient is not in the center, not at all in the center. The patient is one of the team. This one is the good one. Okay, so if I want to go with a take-home message, I still have seven minutes, it's going to be good. So please, as we said, the treatment must be personalized. Each person of the team needs to be her good job. Patient is a member and not a number. That's the very important thing to know. And re-evaluating and adjusting the treatment is something that is very important. Now, look at this one. The efficiency depends strongly on fast diagnostic of the treatment. And teamwork, 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 teamwork. I will repeat it for 25 times. Teamwork. Do not forget my 5C in the teamwork. That's very important. And before concluding, I just want to show you this small image. Who knows this guy? Lewis Hamilton. The best pilot ever in the world, too. So I'm just showing you the best pilot ever. He is in one of the best cars. No? So... First part of the, of the first t part of the team, the pilot is a good one. Best car, best engine, best aerodynamics. What are his chances to win from zero to 100 percent? 100 percent. Something else to say? 70. Why? These are the, from the competence. Good, good. But exactly so. Her ch his chances are higher than 50%. But I will tell you that this guy in this championship will, is not going to win. You know why? Because if you look at the car, it's only the tire that didn't go. Only the tire. So the one that is going to tell you that the pilot is the most important, no. The engine is the most important, no. The aerodynamics, no. The tire, no. All of them together do the team. That's very important. Otherwise, what you see in this tire, in fact, it's this weak link. So we have to do everything to put all the chances from our side to win. Okay, so no, even if it is the best, the tire was not the best this time. Okay, every, every, every member counts. All the members are VIP. And there is not anyone in the team that is more important than the other. Please keep that in mind. I would like to thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. If you have any question. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. With great it pleasure. It was a pleasure to have you today. If you have any question, don't hesitate. We still have time, so... Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Ah. With the micro, it's going to be higher, better. Uh, thank you. Uh, so I just have a question about uh, the role of the patient as a member of the team. So overall, uh, I agree the importance of the patient being uh, uh, an active member of the team. But what should be the strategy if uh, the patient uh, who is not uh, competent medically uh, disagrees with the uh, opinion of uh, uh, if uh, he disagrees uh, with the opinion uh, of the medical staff. Thank you for your question. First of all, if the patient is coming to us because we are the expert in the domain where he is going to, one, we must not show it to the patient like I am the specialist and you, you just uh, listen to what I'm doing. That's completely wrong. But what is important that when you convince your patient, for example, I tell him, we're going to do this, this, and these things. From your side, do just this and that at home. For example, just do your exercises for your, for your ankles and go walk three times each time, 20 to 50, 50 meters at least. With what I am doing, you're going to see a difference. 
When he's going to come back to you and seeing the difference, you can be sure that if you tell him that the sky is green, he's going to tell you yes. Convince your patient by showing them the results. This is the most important. This is why you need to be a competent guy. Okay? Unfortunately, if you look around you, in all the domains, not only medicine, medical, mechanics, uh, uh, engineering, whatever, you have very good guys, normal guys, and unfortunately not very good guys. Okay? You can convince your patient when he sees the results. And I can assure you, for, for example, for the leg of this patient, when I told her, you need to do this, this, and that, and I'm going to do this. But you know, it's, my it's always almost two years. I said, you know what, two years? Give us only two weeks, and you're going to see the difference. It's not going to heal, but you're going to see the difference. Mm -hmm. after, after the first week, she was like, tell me whatever you want. I'm going to do whatever you're going to ask me to do. You convinced her by results. Okay? And not by, uh, selon, uh, I saw in one, show me, I am your patient. Please convince me that you are the good guy for me. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's me. It needs to be like that. Okay? And not, thank you for your question, Big, but you have to convince the patient. And, you know, unfortunately, the big problem now is that they arrive to you. I saw on the internet that, uh, so I tell her, which site? I, I said, hey, you know, I now can go on internet, open a site, saying that tomorrow morning there is an earthquake that's going to swallow Belgium. I can do it now. And she's like, what? Yes, you can do whatever you want. Please, if you want to go on sites, you have to go on paired sites, medical sites, or come to us. But do not come doing your diagnosis. You know, it's, uh, sometimes we call it the third year the, uh, syndrome. Because at that year, we learn a lot of things <laughs> in, in medical field. So each time you go home, oh, I think that I have this pathology. And tomorrow, I think because I have the same symptoms. So people are a bit like that. But we have to convince them and show them that what you see on this thing is not always the truth. And 70% is not the truth, okay? If it's not more than that. Okay, fake news are completely, unfortunately, even in the medical uh, domain too. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>